I'm not sure this is going to be a video I put online or if it's even going to turn out. Uh, this is the Astrocom's board from Printed Droid Shop that I was going to put in my R2-D2. mentioned this in my earlier, earlier videos. Um, it took five months to get it. Poor communication. Anyway, what happened was uh, this board has up here uh, voltage in and you can give it 12 volts and it'll step it down to the 5 volts used by the board or you can give it 5 volts directly. So I, in theory, I connected up the 5 volts but I accidentally had my voltage converter backwards and so I believe I sent 25 or 24 or something like that volts into this. And so I've taken a little look at it and just thought I'd show kind of what can go wrong if you do that. <laughs> so I haven't checked everything. I haven't checked the surface mounted stuff. Um, there's various lights for statuses here. And they have resistors, surface mounted resistors. Um, I don't know if the resistors are okay. I don't know if the LEDs blue. Um, there's power and status on the left. There's some transmit and receive that maybe didn't get affected because um, things blew before anything was going to transmit or receive send signals. But basically, what I, the first thing that I noticed was this chip here. If you can see, that chip is blown up on the top. Um, scorch melted marks and that's what I saw when I first turned the power on from the top of the board here I saw a flash and most of the smoke so this board I know is absolute toast um, it's not a it's just a nano microcontroller it's not um, anything special other than the code I don't know if the source code is available but uh, not only did it blow the chip on the top, and hopefully, again, this is all an experiment here. Uh, you can see down here, there's an online, I'm not even sure what that is. Uh, I think that's a voltage regulator up on the top, and whatever it is below it there is also fried. And I believe, oh, yep, this one here looks like a similar component to the one on the other end. Maybe it's a capacitor, not sure. It looks fried. This chip looks fried. And you can see the lovely discoloration and soot on the board from that stuff blowing up and sending smoke onto the board there. I'm sure that'll, well, actually, that might not clean up with a q-tip and some alcohol because there's a like a iridescent sheen to the board there now um, I'm sure it hasn't like damaged the trace on the board I don't think although well it very well could have but I haven't got that far um, so yeah there's also soot down there so that chip or that board is toast so I looked at the DF player which is not an actual DF player. It looks like it's a clone, which is fine. There's tons of clones out there. So this is the DF player, which can replace an MP3 trigger. So you don't have to spend the $50, $50, dollars on an MP3 trigger board and take up all that space when you could use something this small. Looking at the back, if you can see, that primary surface mounted IC is blown. So this DF player is toast. They're not that expensive. I don't think that nano board is either, but this is also toast. Um, this is 
an ESP8266 Wi-Fi board that you can use instead of the XB. Um, the back of this... Uh, I don't see any obvious explosions on this board. Doesn't mean it's not bad, but this board might be okay. And then likewise, these, um, I think these are uh, Arduino 2560 Pros. One, I believe, runs the Markduino, or the Shadow System, and the other one, I think, controls everything on the board. Um, those, when I took them off, um, they looked, they looked okay. Although I did find something on the board that I don't like. Uh, this USB port here, if you can see... There's three pins here. The middle one's not soldered. So that middle pin sticks up through a through hole, but it's not soldered. Now again, I have not put my multimeter on that, but it looks like it's touching. So I'm like, okay, so does that matter that that's not soldered? Should that be soldered? Should that not pin not be there? Or is it a pin where it simply doesn't matter, it's not using it, it's not connected, there's no trace going from that pin anywhere. I haven't tried to look at the back of the board and see if that's the case. My guess would be that maybe that pin is not used by this board, but it was easier for them to put a connector in there that still had that pin on and they just didn't solder it, which is still weird because you'd think they just solder it even if that pin's not used if it's there. Um, so that, yeah, interesting, but I don't know if that's a problem. So, yeah, visual inspection of this board, maybe it's okay. Maybe. Uh, there's voltage regulation on the board. There's like, a, I think one of these is a 5 volt and one's a 3.3. And maybe the 5 volt one there looks a little bit of brownish, but it also looks like it's been reflowed during manufacture. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure the status of that board. And this one, same thing. Come on. This one, again, doesn't appear have obvious scorch marks. Should be putting these approximately where they were in the board. Um, I haven't taken off uh, these small ones because they're soldered in place, but they don't look damaged. But what does look damaged on this board is this chip here and this is the Atmel um, ah, forget the number of it it's basically this chip that goes on a Markduino but it's the surface mount package so it's the same internal structure as this it's just that this one is made to go in a socket or through hole assembly and this one is soldered to the board. And it's eh, it's not the smallest pitch surface mount soldering, but that would not be fun for me to try and replace. But it is obviously blown up. And then the other thing on this board that is obviously blown up, where'd it go? This, which looks like a voltage regulator, um, has what to me looks like a blown top on it. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that that's dead too. So, cursory examination 
I'm not sure if that magnification was helping or hindering. But cursory examination, um, yeah, uh, is this nano board is toast, and I don't know if that source code is available if I was to buy another one and try and reprogram it. Uh, the DF player is toast. Um, it's like I said, it looks like a clone, so I might be able to get the parts numbers off it and order a replacement if I wanted to. The ESP board looks okay. And the mark or the uh, 2560 boards. There you go, Mega 2560 Pro. So, yeah, that is what it is. Um, they appear to be okay. The only way I know how to test these three that I think are okay is to. You know, they all have uh, USB ports. Oh, these do not have USB ports, do they? Nope. Is to figure out how to connect to these with the Arduino IDE uh, programming application. And s open up the serial monitor, I guess, and see if these spit anything out to the serial monitor like their identification or anything or if the PC recognizes them or yeah not exactly sure how to test those without risk of damaging my PC if I hook them up to USB and there's something wrong with them and again this would be a pain in the neck to replace um, that wouldn't be too bad that voltage regulator but again, I don't know what else on this board. There's an awful lot of small surface mount components, resistors and capacitors. And um, down here, I noticed this here. I believe that's a capacitor, and so is the one at the top. But this other one here is a looks different. I don't know if it's black because it's one of these and it burnt up. Or if it's a different component, and there's a resistor above that, I could check the resistors. But yeah, uh, not sure if it's worth trying to get this fixed. I definitely don't want to send it out to get it fixed. A $200 board, I'm sure it would cost more than $200 in, in time and labor for somebody to fix it. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it right now. And yeah, just kind of making this video, again, just to show, hey, uh, yeah, don't do this. <laughs> don't hook up your boards wrong. And if you do, these are some of the signs you can kind of look for to see if they might be damaged. Things like scorch marks, discoloration on chips, things that just look like they're not quite right although so a lot of these things are, are cheaply manufactured for an example this there's just there's no reason for that to be that middle pin to be like that either solder the thing to the board or clip it off so there's no pins sticking up there but yep yeah, just a little bit of fun with uh, looking at some blown electronics